So how did today finish? Friday, non-farm payroll. Let's take a look. All right, so we're looking for 9.30, 9.04. Still not there yet. Missed a nice move, but that's okay. Real strong move. Look at that, but no trades until here. And ultimately this becomes a short trade and it comes down, it hits money management and then stabs back up and it's gonna stop out for one tick. All right, sometimes that's the way it works. So now we're waiting for another trade and it doesn't come until here, 10.04. And that one doesn't trigger in until this bar. Takes a few bars, but ultimately triggers in. It doesn't cancel because of the rules of the strategy. And that one's gonna come up and it's gonna miss. And this trade turns into a losing trade. It stops out right here. So, so far we have a break even trade or one tick, a losing trade, which loses the 14 ticks right here. And now we have to take another trade to get to our goals and we get a short trade right here at 1015. And it goes short, takes a little heat, comes up, but the stop is well placed. You can even adjust it up a little higher above this little bar to the left, but it ends up not being necessary because this one's gonna stab down, hit the full target. Remember, this one loses 14, this one gains 17, and then trails down, down, ultimately to here, and then stops out. So again, three trades, but our power of quitting goals are reached, a fifth winning session in a row, and in a, a, in a very profitable first week in May, and uh, we're really looking forward to the rest of the year because this usually signifies the time of year when our Russell E-mini trades produce really strong results uh, pretty consistently. But it's not just the Russell. A lot of markets are catching fire right now despite whether the overall market is going up or going down, our day trading profits are definitely on the rise, going up. Let's take a look at a few other markets to see how they fared today on non-farm payroll day. And I'm gonna lead out here, taking a look at one of my favorite ways to trade the Dowie Mini, and this is with the five-minute trade plan, the Trend Jumper five-minute trade plan using a five-minute chart and it starts at 8.20 Central, which is 10 minutes before the U.S. markets open. Now, we had non-farm payroll earlier, but that we're not too concerned with that. That already happened. You can see the result of how the market reacted right here. Remember, this is Central Time. So that's already come and gone. Now, here is a long trade, but it's 10 minutes before our start time. But the trade remains valid, and right at our start time at 8.20, it's already up above the entry but we could place an order in case it pulls back notice here it hit the stop but that didn't stop the trade out because it had not yet triggered in it's still developing here it triggers in and then it pulls back right here and you could actually get filled on this trade on this bar so this plan says you could take profit at target two target three and trail and some traders actually will take profit at target one also, especially on uh, larger size trades. And this was a good size trade. We're gonna trail a different line in this case. We're trailing the purple line. Okay, this is all taught in training. So let's just see what happens. Triggers in, notice that it comes down and it looks like it's almost gonna stop out, but our stop is here. Very well placed and our rules actually have the stop adjusting down a couple ticks anyway. So we had a little bit of room in there. It never got down to the stop. These stops are, are tuned to market conditions. It's sometimes amazing how close the price will get without stopping out on, on some of these powerful trades. So look at how it just zooms right up and through all the targets. 5, 10, 15 minutes later, I mean, you're literally out at target 2, target 3, and now you can trail the purple line, which goes up to about here for a really strong gain. And just to give you an idea, it went from 517 up to 542, 551, and then stopped out at a couple ticks below the purple line at 559. Very profitable trade. And then look at, uh, we're done. 
But the short trade, I mean, Trend Jumper has an uncanny way of knowing when momentum turns would have produced another really strong winner. In fact, this trade is still going. But again, we're already done with our goals. We don't have to keep trading. As we grow our account, we just increase our position size and let the power of compounding work harder for us so we don't have to work harder. It's one of our philosophies. Let's take a look at the YM on the 377 tick chart. That's another popular chart. We do this in the trade room four days a week, and this one starts right at 832. It's a little bit different than the five-minute chart. So we're waiting, waiting. Here's 830. Let me make this a little larger here. Not interested in this. Okay, we're looking for 832. So we let a little bit of that early morning noise shake out. And then here we are at 832, and there's our setup right there. So trade plan says take the trade, 832, 17,536. It's going to 58, the middle target. Optionally, you can trade to the third target as well. And then, of course, trail the green dotted line, the jump line. So doesn't trigger in, and it looks like it's going to cancel. But it doesn't. It actually comes back up. Now, I'm usually going to take the, the deeper pullback trade here. We call this the inside trade. Because what happens is you've got this momentum play up here and then a deeper pullback finding support into the yellow line. And so that's the trade I'm interested in right there. 17,532. Triggers in. Shakes around a bit, but then ultimately pushes right on up through and hits a perfect target. And that goes from 32 to 52. So that's 20 points. We've also moved our stop. We're starting to trail the jump line. Continues higher, higher, higher still, higher still. And ultimately is going to stop out. Let's see. It stops out at 83. Yeah, that goes to 82. So right there, basically. 83. So it goes from 32 to 83, 51 points on the trailer, 20 points to target two. That is a 71 point trade, one and done to finish the session. Now you could have stayed with the blue trade, it would have worked perfectly. You also have these additional jump trades, and advanced traders might build a position and add to their position. One of the things we learn is how to read these EMAs and when. It's beginning to elbow up and push up towards the 200. A lot of times it's going to cross on over and give you a nice rally. So, you know, there is an advanced technique where you can add to your position and the trend jumper is going to show you these strategic places where you can spring off the jump line, jump off the trampoline. But if you're just focusing on your single trade, which is pretty much... Uh, what we do with the trade plans, keeping it very simple. You just focus on your single trade. You do not have to complicate things by adding to your position. You can just let the power of compounding work for you over time. As I said, we want to work smarter, not harder. So what else happened today? All right, so we're going to look at crude oil futures next. And we start at 850, and it looks like it's going to get short here. But it didn't. This trade actually canceled because our confirming indicator, our confirmation line, closes above the jump line. So that's gonna cancel the short. You can't go short, you can only go long. And notice how that works really nicely because it prevents a losing trade. Instead, we get this long trade right here. We also get another trade here, but we're gonna go with the deeper pullback trade, the one with the deeper stop, and it's gonna trigger in right here Notice it stabs up, and then it pushes right on through. Well, not quite. It comes down again, but then it turns. And it, it's, you know, up and down, lots of backfilling. We've seen that with, with crude oil lately, but we just stick to our guns, and ultimately it's going to push through here, and it hits the money management level. And like I showed you in the other example, that means we're moving our stop up to lock in a tick of profit and take the risk off the trade. And then it stabs right on through right here and hits our full objective target two winner. And that went, uh, well, it says 74, but we're gonna adjust that up to 76 around the 75, because that's a key level. The quarter century numbers 
our key levels. We adjust to 76. So 76 to 90, that's 14 ticks. That's $140 on that contract. And now we're trailing the green jump line. And it ultimately is going to stab down and stop out. But it was one and done. We love those sessions that finish one and done. And we're done for the session on a very profitable week of crude oil futures trading also. Crude oil has been great this first week in May as well. There were many examples of great winning trades today, but I'm going to finish this video uh, with one of my other favorite markets, heating oil futures. It's a thinner market, but it still trades enough where you can be very, very profitable with it. Trades at $4.20 a tick. Moves pretty quickly, so if you want to get your trading done fast, it's a pretty reliable strategy, and this trade plan's been working for years. We start right at 9 o'clock, although some traders will start sooner. But let's just go right to 9 o'clock, and you can see right here, uh, 9.02. So we get this first trade of the day right here, long trade. And you should know the drill by now. Triggers in, gets to target one, move your stop up and take the risk off the trade, exit part of your position at the second target. It's a nice big trade going from 31.41 to 31.79 with 38 ticks and then trailing the jump line, which goes up and up all the way up to here. And let's see, it stopped out at 32.14. So 31.41 to 32.14 on the trailer. And, you know, just look at the risk reward on this trade. It really tells the trend jumper story. Here's the entry, here's the stop. That's how much you're risking, right? Relative to the size of your position and the chart you're trading. In this case, you could see entry, stop. The space between, that's your risk. When you exit at target two, it's nearly a two to one risk reward ratio on this chart, it's a 20 tick momentum bar. But notice that when you trail the jump line, this is very common with this chart. Look at that risk reward ratio now. You're risking this much to make this much. That's one of the essential ingredients that's built right into the DNA of the trend jumper trading system. And it's one of the reasons why it's been so successful and will continue to be successful. Purely price action based. As long as there's price action, the trend jumper will continue to perform the way it's done over the years. I realize we've pretty much just looked at futures, but you can trade so many things with the trend jumper. Let me show you what's happened recently on some Forex swing trade charts. These are daily charts. You could look at the trades once a day when you get home from work or whatever, 20 minutes a day. Here's a trade we were tracking a few days ago in the trade room. Let me just back up a little here. This is a Euro Aussie. It's a great pair to trade. And we, had, we were watching this hit its target one right here the other day in the trade room. And of course, there's another trade setting up. And one of the great things about Forex is you have great flexibility with your position sizing. So obviously, these are big trades. So you put on much smaller positions. And again, you let the power of compounding work for you. And, and just check out this chart. So here we are today, right? And today you can see it's pushing through and it hit target two. Now that's going from 4952 to 5538. So that's nearly what, 580 pips roughly, 590 pips to here. We could take profit at target one, target two, target three, and trail. We could also add to our position. So you could be getting long right in here and of course this trade would still be developing. But notice how the trend jumper is adjusting to market conditions. This nice little short trade here, full target winner, you could see, much smaller trade. Still a good size, but notice that it hit the target, which was perfectly placed before the market turned around and went the other way and trend jumper was able to pick up on the long trade as well for another perfect target, much larger trade. Going backwards, this little trade was avoided. This trade was avoided. This is what a losing trade looks like. It was a good idea. I mean, the price ended up going up 
it's just that it was such a small set of bar that it, there was a little bit of market noise in here and it just that one didn't work but if you look back further look at the short trade and look at how that one came down right and we could always pick up additional profits by trailing the line look over here to the long trade look at how that one came up hitting a nice target two didn't quite get to target three but that's okay that's hundreds of pips of profit. Just the most current trades on a swing trade chart. It's another way to trade the trend jumper. It works great. And here's a chart you're probably more familiar with, the pound US dollar. And, you know, just going from the most current backwards, you could see how it hit a perfect target three that just concluded four days ago. And just to look at the trade, it's going from 4453 the third target, 4728, right? And you could take 25% off at each target, trail the green line for a partial profit. These short trades never triggered in. The last trade that was a winner, <clears throat> this long trade, that one hitting a target two, almost getting to target three, just barely. See how accurate these targets are? Look how close that almost got to hitting it perfectly. And of course, you know, it stopped out for partial profit. That's okay. Nice, strong winner. Just rolling back a little further. Look at these. Okay, here's a losing trade, but it stops and reverses to short. Beautiful long winner with a nice trailer. Okay, this is TJ. Also the initials of Trend Jumper, but for me it stands for Troy James. Troy James Noonan. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.